Okay, this is a Krita quick tip. If you're like me and you like to animate in Krita sometimes, you may like to use the liquify tool to deform a character and allow it to do some of the heavy lifting of your animation. So in the case of this quick animated loop, this character is actually a single drawing and all the animation is done with the liquify tool. The problem you have with the liquify tool is that the more of it you do, I'll just do a quick demonstration here of what can happen. The more of it you do, you're going to go into, uh, you're going to do a free transform, or control T is the default hotkey. And then you right mouse click and go to liquify, and then what you can do is squish things around. Okay? And there's a lot of fun things you can play with with that tool to see what its capabilities are, but that's the basic gist of it. The problem that you have is that as you add animation keys, watch what happens to the lines. They start to fuzz out. That's not a bug. That's if, you know, I could give you the technical explanation why, but the bottom line is all applications that do this kind of deformation on pixel-based art have this type of artifact. So how do you solve that? Well, it's actually pretty, pretty simple. If you, you might think, well, let's apply an unsharp mask, okay, uh, or maybe sharpening, so filter, enhance. You could use sharpening, but it, probably an unsharp mask is better. The, the problem you have with an unsharp mask is you can apply it very, very gently, but if you apply it more than a couple times, you get this starting to go on. Okay, again, I'll spare you the technical explanation of why enhancement filters do that, but they all do. The solution is two things. Number one, do like Ed Tadeo and keep your art as long as possible on separate levels or layers, as we call them in Krita. So all my colors in, in this uh, set of layers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. My ink lines are a single layer, as you can see here. The key to solving the artifacting problem with, with the liquify tool is to apply the unsharp mask only to the lines. So if we take these lines and apply it, you can see what it does. It sharpens it up just a little bit, but you're not actually modifying all the color information. You're just tightening up the lines. If I solo this layer, you can see what we're getting. If I hit undo, you can see it softens up a bit. And what you'll find is if you have an animated sequence like this, where you have maybe three or four applications of the liquify tool in a row, what you'll wind up doing in all likelihood is about the third one you'll want to apply unsharp mask once and maybe the fourth time you'll want to apply it twice you just hit control f to repeat it so when i use unsharp mask you'll you'll notice here that my settings are really really gentle okay the radius of 6.38 that's you know call it five or ten right uh, but the amount is is one and it's so it's a very gentle unsharping unsharp mask but by doing that, you can actually um, retain the sharp, crisp quality of your, your uh, animation despite many applications of the, uh, the Liquify tool. Hope you find this helpful. If you do, please like and subscribe.